everyone, welcome to my channel. Today we are going to talk about how I study. So I was a bio major during my undergrad and I had a chemistry minor that I picked up and when I graduated I ended with a 3.94 GPA. So the way that I got this is through this study method and I got mostly A's and a couple B's but for the most part I did very well on my tests, quizzes, and in my classes in general and this is how I did it. The only app that you're going to need is free and it's Quizlet. and. This method would also work with paper flashcards. Quizlet flashcards last forever and they'll always be in your bank. That's also a benefit of using Quizlet, but it's totally up to you and it's totally your preference. This method would work either way. Okay, so the first thing that you're gonna have to do is you're gonna have to take notes. This is one of my old notebooks from when I was taking advanced physiology and this is the only notebook I have left. So this is what I'm gonna use to help you guys and show you how I would study. So basically first you have to go to lecture and you take your notes. These are my notes. This is all about anatomy and things like that. And I have a lot of drawings. So you take those and then go home. And then this is what Quizlet looks like, so you click it. Next thing you wanna do is you wanna open up Quizlet and you wanna open any PowerPoints and the notes that you took. We have this study set created because I did it last semester. I'm just gonna show you one that I've already made. The one that I'm gonna show you is called Advanced Phys Exam 4 and I make a new one for every exam that I have. What you're gonna do is you're gonna go through your PowerPoints and you're gonna go through your notes and you're gonna write everything down that's testable material. And something that was really important for my major is I didn't just have recall, I had diagrams that I would have to visualize or draw while I was taking the test. What you're gonna do is you're gonna go through all your PowerPoints and then any recall or definitions you're gonna add as a flashcard. But anytime you have a diagram that you need to know or anatomy you need to know, you're gonna take a piece of paper, you're gonna draw the pathway, and then you're gonna add the flashcard with the topic. So I would name mine tubular glomerular feedback add it as a flashcard and then put the number picture. So this one was number 11. And so when you had TG feedback draw, you knew you'd have to draw this. And you would try to draw it without looking at this and then see if you're right and refer to this sheet. So when you're done drawing all your diagrams and you're done making all your flashcards, you're gonna have your computer and you're gonna have your diagrams, okay? And the way, my favorite way to do this was to use a whiteboard. I would set a daily goal of going through my Quizlet two to three times per day, depending on how important this test was, how much I already know, things like that. The hardest part is to be able to get through the Quizlet the first and second time, but as soon as you can get through the Quizlet rather easily, you can go through it one to two times, and at one point you're not even going to have to refer to this diagram anymore because you'll know them all already. And then I would just go through, and then all the way at the end, I would refer to all my drawings, look at my whiteboard, and I would make sure I got everything right and I was able to write it down correctly. I was able to draw these pathways correctly. So it takes a really long time to be able to do it, but if you can go through your Quizlet and draw all these diagrams, you're in great shape for whatever test you have, no matter what subject it is. So I took a lot of biology and anatomy courses where I had to learn pathways, I had to learn anatomy, so this was really helpful to make sure I knew the content and the physiology that's just written and also knew the diagrams and how to visualize things and it's just a way to make sure you know everything at once and if you get through your quiz at once that's all the material you're going to need to know for your exam and so when you can get through this quizlet and get everything right and get all the diagrams right and you know them and you memorize them you're in great shape and that is exactly how i did it and i would set daily goals throughout the day just to make sure i got it done and i knew everything and yes, it takes a long time to draw all these diagrams, but as you're drawing them, you're, it's easier to memorize them. And that's why I used whiteboards. At my university, we had a whiteboard table, and I would just go through it with my roommate, and we would go through the Quizlet together and make sure we got everything until we got all the information that was on the back of these cards and all the drawings right. First step, you need to take your notes. Second step, you need to open your PowerPoints. Third step, you need to start going through your PowerPoints and your notes and make flashcards on Quizlet. And then during that process, whenever you are passing a mechanism, a diagram, or anything that might be difficult to just type in words, you're gonna take a piece of paper and you're gonna draw it and then number it. And whatever number that is and whatever topic it is, you're gonna make a flashcard for it. 
And then you're gonna keep going through until you have all the diagrams drawn and all the information down on your Quizlet. And then the way to study it is you're gonna go through and you're either going to draw it, you're going to talk about it, you're gonna go through everything. My favorite thing to use was a whiteboard during this process. And then you're gonna go through it until you can memorize everything and get everything correct. And then once you do that, you will be set for your test. All right, so that's all I have for you guys. So happy studying. I hope this method works for you. It really helped me during my undergrad and it was the only way I could memorize things for long to, a long period of time. So good luck everyone. Bye, thanks for watching.